Here's a perhaps surprising fact. The average UK household is using less and less energy every year. It's partly due to efficiency standards imposed by the EU. The Vacuum Cleaner Museum in Derbyshire is the perfect place to trace the impact of the EU on our bills. Some machines here use lots of energy, others use very little. Recent EU standards on efficiency banned energy guzzlers like this, which uses a whopping 1800 watts. Can you feel the suction? Yeah, quite strong, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's only 440 watts. Wow, that's a quarter of the electricity use of the other machine and far, far more suction. Yeah, it's all about better design and better planning rather than increasing the wattage to compensate for bad design. Taxes and grants are another way of nudging us to use less energy. David Crane, explain to me how this varies from car to car. Were you to buy this vehicle, you would pay vehicle excise duty of £145 a year. And when you fill it up with petrol, uh, you will be paying roughly 60% of that cost as tax. It's completely exempt from vehicle excise duty, saving you that £145 per year. And secondly, when you fill this up at home from your electricity supply, you're paying just 5% tax. Another related factor is the way we all behave. Fast fashion is a massive user of energy. People are getting the message increasingly and caring more that fast fashion does immense harm to the environment and the world's poorest people. And it's not just individuals who are altering their habits, it's businesses too. At this cement quarry in Derbyshire, sensors are being used on all electrical equipment to give technicians information about how they can save energy. A big convey you see behind you and all other electrical uh, equipment this site have got sensors on. And those sensors send readings to this, this, this pier here which transfers information to our mobile phones and to our laptops. With the data that gives us, we've been able to make a number of energy savings in this site. So we're reducing energy use thanks to a combination of technology and personal choices. And businesses are playing their part too. All this won't solve the UK's energy problems, but it will help.